Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to this beautiful place and I'm so so glad to sharing it with you if you just found me. If you're into colorful makeup and colorful styling or one or the other or maybe neither and you just want to try something new, then please subscribe to my channel because you have just made my day and you will probably only have gained. <laughs> from this. Not on weight, but maybe on just having a good place to hang out with. Okay, so sweeties, today we're going to do, I think it's the third installment of my eyeshadow palette collection. Again, I'm going to feature 10 brands, all of the palettes that I have from 10 brands. And uh, if you want to watch more, binge watch more of that, then there is a playlist on my channel where you can check out what I've already done. Okay, so this whole concept is very, very new. For me personally, I love to watch things like this but for me personally this is the first time that I'm trying to get through <laughs> through my whole collection. Yeah, okay, so anyway, I have it all piled up here and I wonder how we should start. Maybe we should start with the palettes where I only have one palette per brand and then go towards the the palettes where I have just like a lot. Okay, so anyway, let's maybe do that. Let me get those where I only have one palette per brand. Okay, let us maybe start, and this is in no order, okay? Absolutely no order, just the way it sort of fell into my lap. Okay, this is Elsewhere Cosmetics. This is the Damn It's Cold palette. That was the winter release of 2019, I think. Oops. Okay, so this is how it looks. This has total, total and complete Juvia's Place vibes. The way the palette is made and the pen size is huge and all of that. And I really, really like this. And it was also super, super affordable. As of then, I think this was the first palette that Elsewhere Cosmetics came out with. Don't want to say something wrong, but now there, I think there is another palette and there is brushes and other kinds of complexion products, I think. But this was amazing. I really, really liked this palette. It was really, really beautiful. I think I did three looks with it and it was really good performance and yeah, really, really nice. Okay, so that is Elsewhere Cosmetics. Then Color Drain. My only palette from Color Drain. This is the Vivid Pigments and Shades palette. This is how she looks. I saw this when I just started to get into colorful makeup and I lusted after this palette for the longest time because people were raving about this palette. And honestly, I haven't touched this as much as I should have because once I finally got it, I kind of had already so many other amazing things that this sort of lost a little bit of the sparkle that it maybe should have had. Also, I'm not super, super much into um, all matte palettes now, you know, but back then I did didn't know that. <laughs> so anyway, but you know what? I have just received my first all glitter palette and maybe I can combine those because I was actually looking for an all matte palette to combine uh, these the, the all glitter palette with. So maybe that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, um, I should also mention, if you're new here, please follow me on my uh, social media because this is where you see all the looks. The ones that you don't see here, you will see everything there. Okay, all the links are in the description box. So anyway, when I'm referring to looks, it's always going to be there okay so this is colored rain um i i should definitely get back to this because also my abilities come uh, when it comes to applying makeup are so much better now that this should be much easier to work with now so let's see okay then pacifica this is the love stoned palette natural it's what what does it say here natural minerals love stoned palette okay and this is how she looks and i got this from my bestie in the u.s because back then that was at the very very beginning of my channel back then i still had the tribal stone series where i i tried once a month to do a look inspired by the tribal stones that we have in judaism um, because there is a breastplate of the high priest who has 12 stones on it one for each tribe and i basically went through the months and tried to create a look like this i didn't stick with it because, you know, but yeah. So she gave me this because it kind of, I don't know, I, that was the inspiration, I guess. It was actually, I think I did like two looks with this palette and um, I think I actually really, really liked it. And then you do have um, highlighters here. I think these two I really, really liked. This one was, of course, way too gray for me. But anyway, yeah, so that's, that's what it is. I haven't used it since. 
uh, and I don't really know a lot about this brand but it was so so nice of her to give this to me okay also the same bestie it gave me the hashtag besties palette from JC Cosmetics this one I have referred to a lot and I've actually done quite a few uh, looks with this palette because in so many ways this is just so me as you can maybe imagine I really really like the performance of this and uh, yeah I really had a lot of fun with this palette so far and it will always and forever stay in my collection because it's uh, the hashtag besties palette like seriously you know and I got it from one of my besties and back then when I got this she was my only bestie yeah so anyway let's move on to the next brand and that is kimchi chic and this one I got from another bestie <laughs> this one I got from Sue who is one of my other besties and um, this palette I do have a review up on my channel this palette I wasn't quite sure what to think about this it, it, you know what is this turning into like mini reviews here I shouldn't I shouldn't do this I should just show you the palette and be done with it but I just can't stop myself anyway yeah so this is the two queens in one desert palette I think uh, the color scheme was really really cute and everything I had the performance was not so convincing for me personally I'm just gonna leave it at that because otherwise the video gets too long okay sweetest reality cosmetics um this is the sweetest reality palette this is also an all matte palette that I could actually go to Hmm. Okay, so anyway, this is the Sweetest Reality palette. I got this in PR from Sweetest Reality Cosmetics. Super, super grateful. There is a review up on my channel for this palette. And I really, really like the performance of this one. If you're looking for a super, super worked out rainbow palette, you know, to add to your collection that is all matte, then maybe this could be something for you. Um, just this one has some micro glitter in it, the dark blue, everything else is complete matte. So yeah. Anyway, this is how she looks and that is that. And then the Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette from Be Perfect Cosmetics. This also has a review up on my channel. Of course, you have seen that across YouTube land in, in, all, in depth. <laughs> in all depth yeah and this is of course a very very beautiful palette the performance was really good especially of the mattes the shimmers were not my most favorite I think there are definitely better shimmer formulas out there but um, the the whole thing the whole vibe of the palette and the mattes were super super nice okay so those were all the palettes where I only have one per brand. Now let's go to the next brand, which is Blush Tribe, which <laughs> has been sort of discontinued. And of course the follow-up um, brand, which was Miali Beauty, also has been discontinued. So I think we can assume that the owner of both Miali Beauty and Blush Tribe is quitting the business <laughs> because, you know. Anyway, so let's go through the palettes from Blush Tribe that I have. Um, okay, so let's just start with this one, the Layla 2. This I bought because it's an all green palette. Overall, today I would not buy this anymore because it definitely is lacking depth for me. And also the performance was not, was not that good. You know, it was okay. It was okay for a light palette like this, but it was not uh, not like super good or anything. Okay, uh, Hasina 2 palette. Of course, you have seen that too. This was probably the most famous palette from Blush Tribe. That was a good palette. You know, that was one of the first palettes compared to this one. This was one of the last palettes and I kind of felt like the um, something changed. Something changed. I don't know what, but something changed. It was not the quality of this one. Was this the nicest or the... No, not the nicest. The most easiest to work with palette? No. But I think it was a good quality palette. Okay. Then I also have the Blossom palette, which is... <laughs> pastel palette what was I thinking yeah I just I don't know I just wanted to have it you know did I use this maybe once or twice um and I'm not very drawn to it either it was it was okay yeah it was okay anyway um this one was a very very nice palette the Munasa palette this is how she looked I remembered that I did a um, palette bingo with this one and I actually <laughs> got by chance all the neutral shades which was this one and this one and I think like these three so that was yeah that was hilarious but uh, yeah so that was the Monasa palette and then of course I also have the Paulina palette which is a collab with Paulina Aspelyung who also has of course her own YouTube channel Paulina Beauty yeah and she got a collab with and that's her by the way um, and she got to collab with Blush Tribe and came out with this spectacular palette it is color scheme 
theme wise because it's opposite in the color wheel also not the easiest to work with you know because greens and reds sort of don't really blend into each other but I mean there are ways to deal with this and it is overall a really really nice and creative palette okay and then I also had the fall fusion palette which was a limited edition palette and uh, this is how this one looks that was one of the bigger pen bigger palettes and yeah color scheme wise I don't even know if I liked it that much I really bought it because one of the shades was named after Angelica which is of course Angelica Nyquist my friend here on YouTube and wasn't there also a Paulina yeah this one is the Paulina shade right so uh, two of the shades got named after my YouTube friends and I really really like that and that's why I bought it okay so anyway that is all I have from Blush Tribe now let's go to Colourpop and you will be surprised how little I have of Colourpop seriously you will be surprised because I know a lot of my YouTube friends who do showcase their collection behind them have stacks and stacks and stacks of Colourpop palettes and I don't I don't because you know Colourpop it takes a long time till it gets to me sometimes it's like six to eight weeks till it ships from the US to Israel and then also you know like by that time they have come out with 10 more collections and like who cares then what I say about this or that palette that is already old in Colourpop terms like really you know but okay so let us go in maybe with the two palettes that I have in Colourpop singles yeah, I do have shimmers and metallics that I ordered. I ordered this on sale. I think it was like a 4th of July sale. I ordered all of my Colourpop singles because they were like 50% off. So that's why, you know, did I ever use them a lot? No, but I, you know, I don't really use a lot of makeup. That sounds so bad. Yeah, but uh, I'm collecting. I'm collecting. You know, that's what it is. And these are my mats that I am <laughs> collecting, apparently. Okay, then the Wine and Only palette. I got sponsored by Christine, who is my friend and subscriber from Australia. She gave this to me and also the, um, what was it called? The Sommelier bundle that was uh, Super Shock Shadows. And uh, this is how she looks. There is a video featuring this on my channel. I think it was a first impression or something. It was at the beginning of 2021 in case you want to check it on my channel page. So this was a very, very good performance. I mean, it is kind of really limiting in the color scheme, but if you know what you're getting, uh, you know, it's, it's a very, very good quality palette. Then also the Baroque palette I got sponsored by Christine. This is also a beautiful palette, like super, super um, grungy and also kind of gothic mystic um, yeah just really really interesting and also the performance of this one was really really good okay this one i got from my us bestie i think this has been a long time in my in my collection i've used this maybe once or twice this is the rendezvous palette from colourpop i don't know whatever is available still or not like in general i have no idea i'm not following that so that is how she looks um i don't remember so much about the performance honestly because it's a long time ago that i've used this yeah so then wait where is the this one the good sport palette i bought this because also paulina and also angelica were raving about it i thought that it wasn't all that good uh it was like you know me you know normal <laughs> that nothing like that spectacular what i thought it would be you know like just listening to what they were saying i don't know if there was a formula change or maybe it was just me or i don't know but i've also heard other th other people say that they were not like um 100 of the same opinion that this is this super super spectacular palette so i don't know okay give me butterflies these two palettes that i'm that are coming now i got also from my bestie in the u.s and um this these are so so beautiful these were limited edition i think that was the 2019 winter release and um so so pretty and there was also one that was a little bit more orange leaning that i don't have but i have two out of the three so this is the gimme butterflies palette and this is the butter me up palette which is a little bit more dark and i love both of them it's so so pretty 
Okay, Fade Into Hue. Oh, I just made a big smudge on the outer packaging. <laughs> the Fade Into Hue palette from Colourpop. There is a review up on my channel for this one. And uh, this is beautiful. This is Pure Bliss. I also got this sponsored by Christine from Australia. Sweetie, thank you so much. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Super good performance. And for a pastel palette, nice depth to it. Super, super pretty. And then the So Jaded palette. I got this second hand. I want to say also from Christine. Christine. Um, I want to say hi. <laughs> Sorry, it's just so much to remember. Yeah, and I really, really like this palette too. It is, of course, a little bit more muted and a little bit darker and kind of also a little bit more hmm, mysterious or so. But I did two looks with this off camera and I really, really like the looks. I think one of them is already on online on my social media. But by the time you see this, who knows what has happened on my social media till then. Okay, and this is all I have from Colourpop. I don't have any of those famous uh, monochromatic palettes that they have, um, not a single one, and I'm not missing them. Not missing them because honestly, by now, I think there are brands out there that they're doing it actually better, you know, color scheme wise. So yeah, anyway, let me put this away. And now let's go to the one brand where I believe I have the most palettes of, like in my whole collection, I think, Juvia's Place. <laughs> Uh, I think I have the most palettes of Juvia's Place um, when it comes to my collection. Okay, so let's let me just bring them all here. Now I don't really remember who I what I got from whom and like whatever I just. I'm sorry. With some of them I might remember, but please, if you gave a palette like this to me and you don't get mentioned, please, please don't be upset with me because it's very hard to remember out of everything I have what I got from where. Um, okay, so this is the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place, which I haven't used yet. This one I know I got from, from Sue, who is my bestie in Europe, and um, I haven't used it yet because I just, I don't know, I got, got sidetracked. Um, then this one I wanted to have for the longest time. I saw this um, mentioned by well, everybody, but also by Nikki Raven, and she said, well, this, this is one of her most favorite uh, Juvia's Place palettes, and I kind of felt like if she likes it, then I need to have it. <laughs> I ordered it on sale, and I haven't used it yet, sorry, but it's so pretty. It's, it's this grounding kind of a thing. It's going on in this palette that I really, really like. Okay, the Deuce palette. I saw this on Angelica's um, channel. <laughs> on Angelica's palette, yeah. On Angelica's channel this is how she looks i haven't used it yet i wanted to <laughs> and then something happened and i haven't okay so anyway i also ordered this on sale okay then uh the warrior 2 by juvia's place looks like this i did not order this i got this uh, from my bestie in the us because she had a double juvia's place sent it by mistake to her and instead of something else that you had ordered and then she got to keep it and she said i have it already do you want it and i said you know i'm a collector of course just you know give it to me <laughs> so yeah so now i have this palette it is actually a really really nice palette i haven't used it yet but just from the way it looks it looks really really pretty for a neutral palette of course okay then this one was a huge surprise that was the coral uh, nubian 3 coral palette this looks well used because it is uh, well used because this was a huge surprise this this whole range of coral brown and and gray silver um, is a beautiful color combination to work with super super nice and um, this I highly recommend okay this one here is the warrior palette by Juvia's Place also this one I have actually worked quite a bit with because I had this early on in my collection and that was my to go to a neutral palette for the longest time and every look I've created with this was really really nice okay one of the most beautiful things that Juvia's Place has ever come out with if you ask me is the tribe palette which uh, looks like this this is also well loved because it is well loved it's a beautiful palette if this is still available get yourself this palette it's a beautiful palette super good performance and just the color scheme and what you can do with it it's absolutely spectacular okay then we have the Saharan 2 palette which looks like this I have used this a bit I don't really remember too much about it <laughs> I just remember that this shade was super, super beautiful and the other things, 
I think I think I remember that um, I was struggling a little bit because basically the three mats that you have here keep you locked in one color scheme when it comes to doing your crease and above. But you know it depends what what kind of makeup style you're having. So yeah, okay, Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place, and this is how she looks. I took this traveling quite a bit because it kind of gives you the best out of two worlds, you know, because of this section being neutral and this section being really colorful, and yeah. So this is how she looks and the performance was of course normal good or very good uh, Juvia's Place performance. The festival palette, do I have all the Juvia's Place palettes? <laughs> yeah, okay so this looks also well loved because I've actually really worked with um, this one here but not recently of course, you know? Yeah, so this is how she looks and um, color scheme wise it is not that spectacular but honestly um, this white shade is super super nice and also the reds in this palette and also this one I've used a lot. It just doesn't show because the pans are that big. <laughs> you know yeah okay the warrior three oh, i've forgotten that i had this yeah <laughs> this is how she looks also a very very fun color scheme there is a review up also on my channel for this one and this i bought i think even on release because i was so scared that i would miss out and it would sell out and it would never come back and how should i survive that okay the zulu palette i know that angelica was raving about this so i bought it and <laughs> Yeah, I know, but you know, back then, when all of this was just being released, I just listened to whatever she said. Now, she this this is not against Angelica at all, because you know that I love her. It's just that, you know, when you're a fan of someone, you basically listen to what they say and to their opinion, and only later on you start to think, uh, what is it that I really want, you know? But yeah, so, and it is a good palette. She was absolutely right. But now, by now, I am standing on my own feet and I'm basically also making my own decisions and using my own brain, in addition to what she says. Okay, so let's see what else do we have here. We have the Freak palette. This is how she looks. That is also, of course, a nice range between colorful and neutral. And have I used this a lot? Maybe for two looks. I don't know. I don't remember too much. But yeah, that's this is how she looks. I'm sure a lot of you will be totally turned off now by me talking like this, that I've not used this enough and I don't remember it. But you know what? That's just the way it is. Yeah. So that is, um, which which one? The Magic Mini. This is the Magic Mini. I also took this one traveling because it also is a very, very pretty palette. Overall, I would also say that this has a bit of a lighter look with the exception, of course, of those dark uh, mattes here. But besides that, it is kind of a light leaning palette, which can be really, really nice. Okay, that was the Magic Mini. Then I do have the Nubian too which looks like this. I feel like I have a review up for this one too. I think it is a beautiful palette, but of course, I mean, you need to also love your neutrals, you know, with a lot of, uh, with a lot of Juvia's Place palettes, you also need to love your neutrals. I have nothing against neutrals. I'm not using them um, maybe as much as I should, considering the amount of neutrals that I have. And that is also the reason why I'm saying I don't really want to voluntarily add more neutrals to my collection because I have, you know, in all of the palettes that I have, I have so many neutrals. Okay, so let us go to the Wahala palette. This is how she looks. And um, did I get this from someone? I want to say I got this from Sue, who is my bestie in Europe. I think I got both of the Wahala palettes from her. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> I don't I think so yeah so anyway uh, I think this one she got for me on restock because that had sold out super super fast really really liked it and then uh, this one I ordered uh, myself but she sponsored it you know <laughs> so that was the Wahala too I think I think that was how it happened so much has happened <laughs> I don't know but I think that's what it is okay and then I have uh, these four minis here from Juvia's Place so let us start with you know what there is one missing where's the other one let me just try to find it 
you wouldn't believe how proud I am of myself that I noticed that one of my babies was missing, you know? So apparently I do know my collection a tiny little bit. Okay, so I have of course five because uh, this one had gone astray in my collection. I had filed it away in a different place for some reason. Okay, so here we have the berries palette. This is how she looks. Really, really cute. And when it comes to six pen palettes, I have very, very high demands on a palette like this because if you give me only six pens, it, it better be good, you know? So, and they do it so beautifully. This is the Moths palette. This one I haven't used yet. <coughs> have not. <laughs> but it's so pretty and this one I have used the most that's the sweet pinks palette this ignited my love for pink looks definitely it's beautiful it's beyond it's even beyond beautiful okay and then I do have the Nubian glow and well let's start with this one the Nubian glow palette I think I did one look with this one I don't know if it was just that palette or if I if I pulled in something else, I don't remember. And then uh, the Nubian Royal palette, which looks like this, which I haven't used yet. Yeah, because I have only one face per day, sweeties. And that is all I own from, uh, from Juvia's Place, at least when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. And of course, this is what we're talking about here in this video, video series. Okay, uh, I'm completely exhausted. <laughs> So what do you think? Uh, be be kind, okay, sweeties? Be, <laughs> be kind because, I mean, uh, this is my passion. This is my hobby. I'm a collector and I'm also a makeup artist and I'm really, really thriving in having a nice big collection. And I'm not planning to declutter anytime soon because even the things that I am not using, for now at least, I'm keeping them for reference. And just because I enjoy, like nothing else, to have this collection collection you know it is it is so so nice do I feel guilty that I'm not using everything maybe sometimes I have days like these and days like that you know sometimes it's like really really bad and I feel like what am I doing what is this you know <laughs> even but then on the other hand it makes so much sense for me you know so yeah and that's what it is so take it or leave it for what it is and I hope you did enjoy and if not then <laughs> like what, what can I do there's really nothing I can do but I know that a lot of you want to see my collection and that is basically what I'm giving to you here. Okay, sweeties, um, you will find the brands, not, not all the products, but the brands that I have talked about today, of course, are listed in the description box down below. Of course, also my makeup of today and my discount codes that I have with different brands and all my links to my social media. And especially I want to point out Leora Cosmetics Instagram because this is where you get all the looks close up together with flat lace and swatches and all of that. And that's the only place where I can give you that makeup content okay so sweeties this is it and if you're new here and you have not yet subscribed so maybe you want to because now is the time to do it before you leave and if you do thank you so much i'm so glad to have you here and besides that i want to wish you an awesome day and until i meet you next time here on my channel go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye